All right, I Sophie, Jillian, you. are you guys, can you hear us? <laughs> yeah. Jillian can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Hi, how are you? Hi, Sophie. We're awesome. We're awesome. We're 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 live on the air now. We're gonna be uh joined by our second group of guests here and uh you know, uh you know, uh you know uh we have uh you know young athlete uh S- Sophie Sharp and uh and uh soon to be uh making her Invicta F C debut here shortly is Jillian DeCourcy. So you know uh how are you guys doing tonight? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing- I'm good as well. Hey, Sophie. Hi. Hello, Sophie. Hi, Jill. Uh, that was a Jill. <laughs> that was really this fun. is going to be interesting. I can already tell. <laughs> Oh uh, yes, awesome. yes, yes! It's going to be interesting. I think we're going to hear a lot of giggling guess, and laughing guess, and, 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 and and I, and I crazy no, no, I I have any giggle, maybe. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I can probably be Jill for tonight. Yeah. What What did you do today? Anything exciting? I went to my friend's house and we went to the pool together. Oh! Did you put anybody in a chokehold or anything? No, not today. Not today. How about yesterday? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, <didn't... laughs> I had my black belt testing yesterday, so I couldn't train this weekend. Oh, you are quite the like acrobatic, like, super flexible, little model superstar going on here. I'm looking at your Instagram. You go, girl. (laughs) Thank you. If I even tried to pull my leg, I probably would fall on myself and break my leg. Look at, I mean, look at these pictures, Steve. Have you seen our pictures? Like, oh, my gosh. I do that. (laughs) And she does it with, like, no effort. I mean, is anybody, where do you get this flexibility from, mom or dad? Can your dad do that stuff? I get it from Taekwondo. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So, so none of that. the above, I, very I knew, I knew that answer, darn it. I'm just jealous because I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. That's awesome, Sophie. So what's the most exciting thing you did for the summer? I want to know what, what you did for the summer. Going to Wildwood to compete in Naga. Everybody says Naga. That's ex- I know. I love Naga. Naga is one of my favorite events. And when they come here to Chicago, I absolutely love to show my face there and support all the kids. Um, the guys who run that show are phenomenal. Like they do such a great job with the kids and showcasing the kids. So I'm super excited. You, you gave, you gave a very good answer. Yeah, it's a really good company. You know, she tested what, her, what? her belt yesterday, right, R- Rachel? No way. Tell me about that. How was that? Pretty tiring, but fun tiring. at the same time. I tested okay, for so my black belt, though. No point. Go ahead, honey. I tested for my black belt for my first degree recommended, so it was pretty fun. What? Okay, I got to ask this question. Okay, so I went to uh, a ceremony at Combat Joe here in Chicago, and their theme, their ceremonial when somebody moves up a belt, they each each one of the members of the gym gets to like I don't know how to explain it like faint them or like hit them or do something crazy and they all stand in a line as you go through the line. Did you have to do that? No. Well, thank goodness because that looks very painful. <laughs> this, this gym is really it's very big, so there's a lot of members and a lot of um you know. Oh, my gosh, athletes there. And so it was amazing to watch. And I think I have a video. I don't know. It's somewhere on my YouTube. But 
it's pretty amazing to watch. So I didn't know if like all the gyms were like that or if it was just that specific one. No, we can't hit, but we can kick and punch. Awesome. Awesome. How exciting. I'm so excited for you. Congratulations on that. Thank you. I'm scared of you. Can I say that? Sure. <laughs> You're awesome. So, Sophie, well, I got to ask you, what 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 is the significance of your of your uh friendship with uh our Jillian here? She's a six cheek fighter, so and she's really nice. We met you gotta, you gotta you gotta you gotta support your own, right? You can't you can't you can't let them yeah. not support, right? So is she is she just your your favorite sick chick fighter? Is that is that why you got, you give her all the love? Her Mona. Love that deserves it. <laughs> I'm excited to watch her and Victor. So now, how do you think she's gonna do? I know uh, we're getting we're getting close to here by by the minute. How do you think she's gonna do? She's going to kick butt. She's going to do amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you. What, what do you, now, what do you, you say? Do you, sure you, do you have a prediction for it, you, uh, Sophie? Do you, do you have a prediction? Uh-oh. How do you how do you, how do you see it playing out in your head? What? Say that again? I said, do you have a prediction for the fight? Like, like when you're watching it, like when you're dreaming about watching this fight, right? How do you see it playing out in your head? Does... Uh, the, does Jillian have like a back and forth battle that she wins? Does she does she get a submission? Does, does she stop her with punches? How, how do how do you see it playing out when you envision this fight? She's probably just gonna knock her down and choke her out. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So wow. <laughs> All right, Jill, first round. Uh, oh, she wow, said first Jill. round. She's not even good. She said Jill's gonna come out there and and uh, make a statement. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> of course, she's a fighter. Now we're well, talking about, about Sick Chick. How did fight. how did you wind up getting uh, hooked up with Sick Chick while we're at it? You know, obviously you, you show love for uh, all the all the other athletes. How, how did you wind up getting hook, hooked up with uh, with Wendy and Sick Chick? They saw my Instagram account, and then we met up um, at a tournament. And that was about it. Wendy's just the best. Hey, man, you get you get lucky, and you make these connections through uh, through the the tight knit uh, MMA circles and jujitsu circles that you run into all the people like. Like like Jillian and, and Wendy and, and and you know and you know a laundry list of other people that that you see at these at these tournaments. So yeah, it's uh, it's fun. Yeah, definitely. Now, out, now outside of your six chick family, is there is there a particular athlete you like to root for, regardless if we're talking about MMA or or combat sports in general? Is there an athlete that that you look up to you that you aspire to be like? I met Amanda Nunez, and she's really nice. So I like Amanda so, Nunez. Hey, there you go. There's nothing wrong with Amanda. She, you know, former uh, Invicta veteran. You know, people don't give uh, Invicta enough credit for you know fielding you know uh, the, these champions in the UFC here. Um, does uh, now she's fighting a very very tough. Uh, you know, uh, Valentina Shevchenko coming up here shortly. How do you see that fight playing out? You see, you see Amanda keeping her tight over, or do you see another tough fight between her and Valentina? Amanda definitely was a knockout, but it's going to be tough. That's fair. Wow. You know, I, I I see it going the other way, though. I do. No, no, no offense, Sophie. I, I got uh, a lot of respect for uh, Amanda. I, I just think uh, their first fight was extremely close, and uh, I think we'll see a similar one this time. But 
I think we might see uh, we might see multiple fights between these, these two. They're that closely uh, matched, and uh, I think Valentina might might wind up uh, getting the decision and stealing that title away. I think we're we're seeing the makings of a trilogy with this, but that's just me. Time will tell. Yes, you're <laughs> absolutely right. I love it. I love it. Time will tell. We will see in a few I love weeks, the right? <laughs> I also like Frankie Edgar because he's a Jersey fighter. Jersey strong. You got to love it. (laughs) That is awesome. And you're 10 years old? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, girl. You are one Uh smart cookie. Uh-oh, I'm on airplane mode. I'm going to be 11 next month. Oh, well, happy early birthday Uh to you. What are you going to do for your birthday? Probably fight. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Yeah, if you it. want a piece of cake, you got to get through me first. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> That's awesome. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me I now? Can you, can you hear Steve? me now? Yeah. Steve? Steve. Earth to Steve. Earth to Steve. One, two, three, hey, four, Steve. No. <laughs> hey, Sophie, you're going to have to get Steve over there in a leg lock or something to bring him back on the show or whatever, because he, uh, I don't know where he went. He stepped out. <laughs> we lost Steve. <laughs> we lost out. Hey, Sophie, uh, what, uh, when you go back to school? Um, In, in September 7th. Uh, September Hello. 7th, you looking forward to it? Yes, yeah, Steve, yeah. you're on mute. <laughs> what are you looking forward to the most? <laughs> Just getting back, doing the school thing, going to class, or is it like hanging out with your friends and so forth and so on? Seeing my friends again. What's your favorite subject? Math. Oh, math. Very nice. Very nice. What else do you do in school? Do you play any sports outside of uh, what you're doing here? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Steve, um, we can hear you all day. I'm maybe going to start wrestling for school. Nice. Oh, oh awesome. <laughs> I like it. Well, keep it busy is, good, is a good thing when you go to school. keeps you out of trouble. And plus, uh, you're going to be a very skilled individual as you increase, uh, as you keep getting older. Uh, what's your goals as far as when you get older? You see yourself, hey, I'm 22 years old now. What do you see? Probably, hopefully, getting a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and owning a school with my sister. Oh, okay. Aww. Yeah. You know, back in the day, she does take and I do it, so... Yeah, our last guest, uh, Zeke, he, he said the same thing. He's like, man, I, I just want to, when I get older, I want to have my own school. And that, you know, that, that's a that's pretty awesome. You're already thinking that far ahead. But it's awesome, too, that you already have that idea that this is what I want to do and this is where I want to be. Yeah, my dad wants to do it, too, so. What, what do you have to tell kids that maybe want to, they maybe want to get into BJJ, but they don't. Maybe they're a little bit shy or they don't know how to get a, go about it. What do you tell those kids that maybe be, uh, are listening tonight? Just do it. Don't be scared. Just have fun. Just believe in yourself. Make friends. Get confident. That sounds good. Um, I'm, hey, Steve, are you back? Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. I had to, like, hang up and call back. It sounded like I was, like, uh, stuck in, like, an airplane engine or something. It was weird. <laughs> You're like the guy from that commercial. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? You guys can hear me that whole time? Yeah. Yep. That was yeah. insane. Yeah, that was nuts. All I could hear was it seriously sounded like I was inside, like, an airplane engine. I had to hang up and call back in. Because all I heard was... That's what it sounded like. It was nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a sound bite for you. 
<laughs> yep, yep. There you go. There you go, Brad. You, there, there, there's a uh, there, there's another one for you. <laughs> yep. Uh, geez. <laughs> Gotta love technology. Gotta love it. But um, you know, as we have a uh, a, a few a few minutes left here, you know, um, I guess what I typically do for everyone as we're getting ready to close things up, I just want to make sure that uh, we. Uh, we we give Sophie her her uh, respected air time. I, I hear that that she had a, a few things to say, a few people to thank or whatever. So, um, you know, Sophie, like what we do with all our fighters, you know, if there's anyone you would like to thank, training partners, teammates, you know, shoot out your social media sites, let everyone know where to follow you now before you you blow up and come with this huge star. You know, let 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 them uh, let them support you now, and uh, you know, any sponsors you have, anything like that. The uh, the time is yours. Say what you want. My Instagram is Sophie underscore dog nine two two. And I'd like to thank Hangwright Athletic, New Jersey Nutrition, Grit Mouth Guards, and Six Sheik Fightwear. Cause Six Sheik's the best. Wow. Wow. And uh Jill, I gotta thank you for, for ho- hop- hopping on here. I know it's uh it's kind of a, of a pleasure to do do kind of shows like this, but uh, you know, uh, I take it you're you're uh, you're getting pretty excited, uh, you know, about a month away from the fight, right? Uh, not even uh, three weeks. Crunch time. There yeah, we, we go. Just, yes, we can. Not even three weeks. Is it is it easier get, getting ready for fights during the summertime or the winter time for you? Like you know, it's uh. I guess it's it's easier to get the sweat going during the summertime, but uh, you know, as we're getting getting ready to to get headed the fall, I got to ask you as a fighter, what was the time of year you you'd rather have fights in the summertime or the wintertime? Um, to me, it really doesn't matter. I mean, summer is nice because it's uh, it's a little bit more motivating. It's not freaking cold and snowy out. Um, you don't have to really battle the weather as much, and you can go and you know you can do a lot of cardio and workouts outdoors, um, which I really enjoy. So that kind of helps it out. Um, but then you know also the summertime, it's people generally have a lot more stuff going on, so it makes you know a lot more sacrifices. I feel like in the summer than the winter, but you know, fight the fight. So you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about what about you, Sophie? Do, do you care when you compete? Does, does it bother you uh, if if you're if it you know may, maybe you're at an arena that doesn't have air conditioning, it's all hot out, or or if it's cold when you compete? Does it bother you in any? It helps you loosen up. But I don't like the sweat too much. Me either. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a gross video on my page of me sweating disgustingly and just gripping everyone. <laughs> Ew, Jill. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gross. <laughs> like, <"Well." laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> I just, I just couldn't imagine rolling with somebody else who's just as sweaty. Like, don't you slip on each other? Like, I don't know. It just kind of be weird. How does that work yeah, out? you do. You slide all over the place a lot, and like, I had that in a what was it? It's like, so I got a massage right before training, and she had put oil. She used oil on the massage, and I didn't realize that once I started training, it was gonna be pretty. And hopefully they wore extra deodorant, right? Oh, if you stink, I won't work with you. I will call you out of the <laughs> If you got me out, so you got to go. <laughs> well, what are you doing during the summertime then? Because, you know, during the summertime, you can't really not help that stuff. And what happens if you're in, like, car well, rolls? I'm like, a girl. No, I'm a girl. I take, like, three showers a day, and I make sure I am clean. So you need to have that same respect. 
You work all day, then you need to go into the shower before you get your bike to clean. Well, I'm not saying that. Ain't what happens no, like if you're, you're in the middle of like a like a like a three hour training session and it, it's uh it's you know you know hour you know two hour and a half into it and you guys are you know not exactly fresh from from you know yeah from, but don't they make that like twenty four hour deodorant? They make that deodorant that's advertised the last twenty four hours. Yeah, you know, so I, I put it twenty four hour deodorant <laughs> on and 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 you know do oh, and, and and and. You know, go out and work out or do whatever, and, and that stuff lasts maybe about 20 minutes before it's like, yeah, that's the end of that. <laughs> we have spray deodorant that we just have to go down with. Yeah, if I <laughs> if I miss a shower or a bath, I just spray Axe spray all over myself, so I'm good to go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you <laughs> hey, does that actually work? Do you actually, does, that, does that really attract anything extra when you use Axe? No, it doesn't attract much, but it eliminates that BO smell that I have since I haven't taken a shower a couple of days. So. <laughs> oh, oh God, that's what I was smelling over here. Oh, I thought it was me. Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. And of course, Jason. And of course, Jason, her manager, throwing her under the bus. If I've cut weight with Jillian, oh, she my. sucked at sweaty. <laughs> she sucked at sweaty. <laughs> I suck at sweating, he said. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do not suck at sweating, unfortunately. I'm sorry, not saying if that's pouring out. But I, I suck at sweating for making weight. That's where I suck at sweating. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what are you going to do, man? What are you gonna do? You're gonna sweat. You're gonna sweat. Well, gonna apparently do. Jillian sucks at sweating, so she can't be sweating. <laughs> a fail. So, like when, you know, like if you if you're doing jujitsu and somebody sweats, like, do they has it ever like gone in your mouth? Yeah. Like a sweat, Ew. like a sweat drop. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's going to happen from time to time. That is like bleh. But it does happen training, yeah. and, you know, it's not like it's something that, that yeah. is impossible to yeah, happen, yeah. unfortunately. It's, you can't avoid Being it. in training, the most nastiest things that if they happen in, like, everyday life, you would want to, like, vomit all over the place. But when it happens in training, it's like, eh, just it's another one of those day. It's like, all right. It's like, all right, try not to step out. I, I'm not going to kill my training partner. I'm not going to kill my training partner. Okay, I can get through this. I can get through this. Okay, I got through it. And then yeah, afterwards, yeah, yeah, be like, if you ever sweat on me like that again, I will murder you where you stand. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I swear. I swear. Wow. Is that, that, much how that com- is, is that pretty much how that conversation goes? No, I I'd rather just sweat on than be stank on. Wow, where is this conversation <laughs> going? Yeah, I know. Really, we, we we I don't know. It just it just went off the the, the, the tracks here and and wow, thought, poor Sophie and sweat pot. Sophie, yeah, poor Sophie. <laughs> Sophie, why do they call you the dog? Because my dad gave me that nickname. When I was like a toddler. Uh, well, were you just relentless, or or or, or were you were you just uh, beating up on the animal there? You know, you were just pretending your animal was like a was like a, a stuffed doll, and you were doing jujitsu type stuff for it. I was just rough and tough as a kid. So you're a you're a junkyard dog. <laughs> <laughs> the junkyard dog. You and these rough red and clean. Junkyard dog. Don't don't don't, don't mind Brad there. Don't mind Brad there. He has to throw in his wrestling innuendos at some point in time in the show. And the junkyard dog is a former wrestler from like the eighties. So don't mind do Brad. Really? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? She was rough and tough. Uh, 
I said she's a junkyard dog. Yeah, but I did think about the junkyard dog when I said it. But exactly. Uh, you guys are so oh, we, we, we don't have dead. Sophie laughing with us. There's something wrong. Did, did, did we not hit the Because she's right like, these old guys, what are they talking about? These freaking old guys. No, the no. Junkyard dog. She's like, the junkyard dog? Who's that? My grandpa <laughs> knows him. <laughs> My dad right, used well. to like wrestling. Oh, yeah? The you used to, like, yeah. to right. He's a smart man. Used to because the wrestling nowadays isn't what we grew up on. He's a smart man. <laughs> Back in the old days, like it was much. I better. like your dad already. I like your dad already. <laughs> <laughs> it was real to me. So, well, Sophie, it, it was definitely a pleasure having you on here. You know, maybe we'll. Uh, Hopefully, you know, one of these days you, uh, you know, maybe we'll still be doing the show as you're, as you're, uh, you know, growing up here and we get to have you on, on, on some more shows in the future. Keep doing what you're doing. And, uh, you know, I, I look forward to seeing, uh, you know, more news about you through, uh, you know, through Sick Chick and through, you know, uh, through social media and whatever. And if you, if we can ever help you with anything, regardless if it's me, Brad, Rachel, whatever, you know, don't don't be ashamed to reach out if you if you need something from us. All right. Definitely, that's awesome. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, girl. We would love to help out. And 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 Jillian, I I I think I think Sophie deserves uh you know some uh some some fight gloves after this fight in a few weeks. What do you think? Some what? Wait, wait, what was that? Some fight Uh-oh. gloves. So, oh, fight clothes, You said. Gloves, gloves, G L O V E S. Oh, gloves! gloves. <laughs> yes, that's that's a very visceral possibility. I got something in mind for Sophie, but I can't spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh, yeah. spoil it. She's gonna have to wait. Oh, Sophie, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. Like yeah, le- left you on a on a, on a cliffhanger there. It's gonna happen. Yeah, but, uh... you gotta leave it. Yeah, you gotta leave it. Can't be ruining surprises, man. <laughs> that's, 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 what, that's what you call an MMA teaser. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they so have the radio teasers. You. You're just not going to know what it is for a month. <laughs> Stay tuned for next month. Like, just as that cookie is dangling in front of my face for after the fight, I got to dangle something for somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, but you have healthy cookies. It's, it's a little bit different. Oatmeal raisins. Well, yeah, those, but those are for before the fight. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Fiber one cookie and then, before the fight. And wait, wait, wait. Jason's in with, with his last rib shot here. That, she, that, that she's gonna have to wait a long time, just like just like Jillian and sweating. <laughs> oh my Sweatin god. To the oldies. <laughs> That's right. After my fight, I'm going to take all these pictures of me eating this awesome carrot cake and just send it to, <laughs> to Jason nonstop for like oh, a week wow. straight. Oh, That's funny. <laughs> or or just, just remember next time. And I don't even like that carrot eat. cake, but I'm just going to eat it because. <laughs> and just remember that, 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 that Jason does give us opportunities to take shots at him. And I just think since he's doing it on air, who's to sit there and say that you couldn't, you know, live stream it? <laughs> that would be even more. I mean, he wants to take shots at you. I'm just saying. You know, you, you know, th- th- this is how we, uh, th- this is how we do things. You give a little, you take a little. It's like game he on. He wants to take the shot at you. I-, I hope you're ready to take some back. <laughs> Wow. Game on. He says, now you're going to pick up four innocent mates. Oh, we got live here. Jillian's eating some we, carrot cake. J- mm. Jason, Jason we, we love you, but but you're definitely not innocent in this one. You started it. <laughs> Deal with the consequences. No, 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 no. You got to be over there. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's um, 
let's uh, let's wrap this one up. Sophie, it, it was definitely a pleasure having you on. Looking forward to, to, to your future. Jillian, we got to catch up after the fight. We'll lose a draw, all right? Yes, definitely. And, uh, you know, again, guys, th- thank you for your for your time. You know, hopefully we get to do uh, do some more fun shows like this in the future. Thanks for having us. Um, Sophie, keep kicking butt. You're awesome. Thank you. You too. Oh, my gosh. Ladies rock.